Hey guys, welcome back to Dave's Daily Adventures, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to build your own homemade tripod, not um, bendable or be able to put back together, so it's probably just like, leave it at your house kind of thing. But what you need is a tripod screw that will fit your camera, as you can see I already have it screwed into this piece of wood that will be on top. You'll need some screws. And you'll need, it depends on what you like. I like circular, um, cylinder, wood, and depends on how high you want it, you know, you're gonna have to figure out that kind of stuff. You'll also need a drill, Phillips. I'm using Phillips screw. And so, yeah. So, first off, you wanna get your markings of how long you want it, which I have those right there. And then you're gonna wanna cut it. So I will turn back in once it is all, when that one's all cut, and then I will film me cutting the other. So guys, I ended up having cut messed up. Sorry about that. Um, so we got our three things, and you, I didn't have to bore you guys with um, watching me just saw a piece of wood. So I will tune back in once I get the drill all set because I have to replug it in because my dad unplugged it because he was using something else. So guys, I got the drill already. I got the thing that I'm gonna be using first in and now it's time to drill the holes in these and then we'll do it in this one. I'll just do on camera one and then I'll do the other ones off camera to not bore you guys. So you wanna probably you're gonna get it right in the center. So I'm just gonna bring it down here. So I can put some pressure on it to hopefully get it straight. All right, so I think I got it. It should be good. And I will tune back in once I drill all the other ones, and then I will film me drilling holes in the actual place where the camera will be to put the tripod legs on. So yeah, stay tuned. So sorry about the noise in the background. That's my dad and my brother working on second story to our tree house, which I will probably do a tutorial of it if they once they um, finish the second story. So I screwed the holes. And all three of them. This one I had kind of trouble on, messed up. Um, yeah, all three. And now I'm going to on camera put one of the things, screw a hole for one of these things on camera. The other ones will be off camera. So. 
I'm going to get it at an angle. back once I finish doing the other ones. Alright, sorry about the breeze. You might not be able to hear me. It'll probably be kind of windy. I don't have one screen, so I'm sorry. But we got the holes. I'm hoping that they'll work. So I'm going to do one on camera, but I'm going to have to cut the clip because I'm going to have to get a few things ready before I drill it. So I had to use this drilling bit because it was too big. It was just like a slippery sammy. So I had to use this. I got one of them screwed in. I will screw in the other two. I will screw in one on camera. Then I'll screw in the other one off camera. To not have to bore you guys. So now, I'm gonna show you guys how to screw one in. So you get your screw, Phillips in my case. You got your drill. And then I'm gonna Set you guys down on the tripod, which it's not. I haven't built one of these before, so it's kind of trial and error right now. But it is my Ultra Pro bendable tripod. Um, so I'm just sticking this tripod leg in here, a screw. I want to stick it in a little bit first. You guys can see that. I'm just going to screw it in over here. Um. You getting it? Yep. So we got it kind of in. You don't want to do it too fast or else you'll strip your drill bit. So now I got a camera lady here. strip um, a bit, a little bit, when you're putting screws in, at least I do. Alright, so we got two of the tripod things. Kind of wiggly, not the best quality you can get. Now, I'm gonna put the clip here, so you guys don't have to be bored of me screwing in the other one. So, yeah. So finish screwing it in, and here is the final product. It's not moving in or out. Now, I'm going to show you the power of editing with the camera. So guys, this is the finished product. It's got I thought with my camera mounted on it, I'm here. And here's the old one that was breaking, Ultra Pro Tripod. So this good stabilized tripod is probably probably less money than it, you would probably have to pay less money to build this rather than to um, make this. 
yeah, for sure. This thing is ten bucks. So th and this is like five. So yeah, I and I mean, um, yeah. okay. So right now I'm using the tripod. I really like it. Um, compared to this thingy, it was actually breaking on the top. There used to be a little clip there that said Ultra Pro, and this little rubber thing can start to come off now. But, yeah, the stability is amazing. Like, if you really want to call it, you could kind of use it like a glide cam. Like, it doesn't make it as shaky, I think. So if you're kind of like a shaky person who's like, that's too shaky, I hate that, do you like, do you subscribe, that kind of stuff, um, this might not be for you, I'm sorry. If you're super all about not having get shaky, just go spend, like for this it probably costs five or ten bucks. You can go spend like I don't know, I think it's 50 to to $100 on a glide cam. Why would you do that if you can have a less shakier image than handheld or with an Ultra Pro tripod? So yeah, I hope you guys like this video of how to make your own homemade um, tripod. It's not bendable, sorry. I might do that one day, but that would be really hard to do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Subscribe, comment below, like the video, stay tuned for more videos. Um, I do daily uploads, so make sure to subscribe and uh, come back tomorrow for the thing. Um, like I said, um, uh, stay adventurous. Like I said, daily uploads, come back tomorrow. Um, stay adventurous and peace.